Shalom. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakakodash. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and say peace, mercy, and blessings to the hopeful elect. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists or he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer. All right. And as you can see, it's the article from uh, End Time Headlines. And it says, The blank preparing for a lower scale attack from Persia. Okay. The least of the flock is preparing for a large scale attack from Persia. Okay. And I'm speaking in code because we have to. You know, the, um, they're, they're censoring the prophets. They're taking down videos. You know, and um, these the, these. FJs, 1948ers, they're the people that are in power. Okay, they pretty much control and own everything. And if you say anything about them, then you know you're, they pretty much cut you off from society, arrest you, you know, have you put to death. You know, even uh, DJ Trump was speaking on that. All right, so uh, open up with the scripture. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, and verse 22. A sound of battle is in the land. And of great destruction. So that's that's what that's what's in the earth right now. And there's different in different lands throughout the earth. There's sounds of battle. All right, the weak nations saying I'm strong. Uh, proclaim you this among the Gentiles. Let me get that in the Book of Joel, chapter three. Okay, because that's what's getting ready to come upon the world. Great destruction. Okay, which is going to come in the form of a great earthquake. Okay, now what's going to cause this great earthquake? Nuclear missiles being shot off and hitting different parts of the world. It's going to cause the earth to reel to and fro like a drunker. This is Joel 3 and 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. So the prophets are proclaiming, all right, these prophecies to the Gentiles, among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Yeah, you, you nations, get ready for war. Okay, because it ain't over. All right. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Now a plowshare is a farming instrument, a tool used to farm the land. A pruning hook is also a tool used to farm the land. Okay, but these weapons, you know, these farmers, they're going to have to become warriors, man. Okay, because that's just the nature of the beast okay also the times that we're living in you know this is Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven 8 a time to love and a time to hate a time of war and a time of peace so the times that we're living in we're not living in times of peace this is why you keep hearing about war destruction different bombings things, things of that nature and this is what Yahweh Shai was telling his men about, okay, and all these things allude to, and they point directly to the second coming of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. This is the book of Mark 13. And seven. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled. All right, and this is for the real believers. You know, when you hear these things, you see these things, don't be troubled. Strong's G 2360. Thra Ao. Pretty much don't be frightened. Don't be troubled in the mind. Don't be alarmed. Okay. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must need be, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrow. So if you're wondering where we're at, we're in the beginning of, of sorrows. Okay. But pretty soon the devil's gonna come down with great wrath because he knows time is short. Alright, and that's gonna kick off the hour of temptation. Alright, which inside of that, of course, you have what? The time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, now with the hour of temptation, the whole world's going to be tempted to take an electronic device 
<clears throat> okay, because the devil pretty much wants to put his device in humans and hack them and, 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 and control them and, uh, you know, track their whereabouts and know what they're doing at all times. And if they buck up against the system, he could just cut them off, you know, total control. Okay, and that is called the uh, Mark of the Beast, Revelation 13 through 16 on uh, 16 through 18 on down the Karagma. It will be a new instrument of buying and selling. Okay, so this is this is what we this is what we're looking for. Okay, now this points to World War Three, but before World War World War Three happens, okay, you have to we have to have the hour of temptation. We have to have the time of Jacob's trouble, the devil coming down with great wrath. Okay, and these and all of these are just birth pains to what's coming. All right, it's the Book of Revelation, chapter eleven. And verse 14, the second woe is passed, and behold, the third woe coming quickly. And as we get closer and closer to the end, you're going to hear more talks, more and more talks of war and World War Three. Okay. The house I spoke about these things. You're going to hear about earthquakes. Okay. And storms. Right. Wildfires. All of that stuff, man. Deadly hurricane. And this is this is from strangesounds.org. You know, has different you know worldwide events. Okay, such as natural disasters, chariot sightings. You know, things of that nature. All right, thousands evacuated from their homes as devastating wildfire with up to 80 feet flames engulfed suburbs of Athens. All right, scriptures. The Lord said, "Lo, I'll come to send fire. What will I for already be kindled?" You know. Deadly Hurricane Debbie brings heavy flood into Northeast before blowing into Canada. Okay. <laughs> Bad Omen. Iconic double arc in Utah collapses just a few days after ancient pyramid in Mexico. Tribes forewarned and pending doom. All of these things are omens or signs that uh, point to the end. Okay. I believe I read this the other day, but Japan hit by M. Major 7.1 earthquake as Cali suffers more than 50 aftershocks after a 5.2 quake. Okay, so we have earthquakes, we have upwards of the people, we have, you know, all the signs are there. There's sound of destruction all over, man. Back in the article of End Time Headlines. All right, the least of the flock is preparing for a large scale military attack from Persia. Defense Minister Yoav Gallen has told his U.S. counterpart. It comes as the U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has ordered a nuclear-powered guided missile submarine to the Middle East and is telling the USS Abram Lincoln aircraft carrier strike group to sail more quickly to the area as well. You see, the U.S. and the Holy Land are allies. The U.S. All right, was the first country to recognize the Nicene state of blank since the 1960s and the Babylonian all right 1948 a relationship has grown into a mutually beneficial alliance in economic strategic and military aspects the US has provided strong support for the least of the flock this is important because this right here is going to drag the whore now the whore is Babylon the great which is the USA okay so this is why you, they're mentioning the U.S. in this article, because they're allies, okay? Now, let's get this, and also in Jeremiah, actually it's in the same chapter. And I have pulled up right here. I'm going to jump down to 45. Right back in uh, End Time Headlines. It says... The U.S. and other allies continue to push for for uh, the FJs and Hamas to agree to a ceasefire agreement over the war in Gaza that could help calm soaring tensions in the region. You know, so they 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 you know say they're pushing for peace. All right, but we know according to prophecy when they say say peace and safety. You know, matter of fact, let's get that.
This is 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come out upon them, as travail upon a woman with a child, and they shall not escape, alluding, again, alluding to birth pangs, a woman in travail. Okay, so they can, uh, you know, whatever they do, whether they put, whatever president they put up in there, and they, they so-called bring peace between these two, don't believe that. It's bullshit. Okay, because when they say, shall say peace and safety, that's when destruction is going to come. Okay, so back in this article, the U.S. and the other allies continue to push for uh, Blink and Hamas to agree to a ceasefire agreement over the war in Gaza that could help calm soaring tensions in the region, right? Um, Blink has been braced for a major attack since last month when a missile killed 12 in the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights, and Blank responded by killing a senior Hezbollah commander in Beirut. A day after that operation, Ismail Haniya, the political leader of Hamas, was assassinated in Tehran, drawing Persian vows of retaliation against the, uh, the FJs. <laughs> the U.S. has been beefing up its presence in the region. On Monday, the Air Force, Blank's Air Force suspended travel abroad for service personnel a military spokesperson said, adding that safety instructions from the military for the general public remain unchanged. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Tehran's acting foreign minister, Ali Bagheri Khani, has said Persia has the right to an appropriate and deterrent response against the Holy Land to ensure regional stability and discussions with the Chinese counterpart, according to the state media. Okay. Earlier, the leaders of France, Germany, and Britain called on Persia and its allies to refrain from any retaliatory attacks that would further escalate regional uh, tensions, which these regional tensions are going to spill over into a third world war. Okay, it's Jeremiah 50, verse 45. Therefore, he, the counsel of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. This is the counsel of the Lord. And in and, and, and the words of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, do not come back void. Okay, and the Lord's going to bring this evil on the on this world, particularly these heathen nations, for putting our people in slavery, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and part in our land. Okay, because that's our land, right? Therefore, he, the counsel of Yahweh El Shai, that he had taken against Babylon, the West, and its purposes that he had proposed against the land of the Chaldeans, surely the least of the flock, 1948ers shall draw them out draw them out where into the middle east all right now notice this is heavy tension between these two countries why is the west involved right well the prophecy calls for you know this state here being used to draw out the whore or the west or babylon the great whatever you want to call it and they're being they're going to be drawn out over there all right to get this third world popping and they're going to be destroyed Okay, the West is the ally for the 1948ers. You got Gog and Magog, or Russia is the allies for the Persians. That's going to join two major world superpowers into this final conflict. Okay. Jeremiah 50, 45, finishing off. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them, which is going to result into the west and the least of the flock being hit with nukes okay got another article here it's from shit hit the fan plan iron dome failure overnight hezbollah missile salvo on northern fjs lead to speculation okay hezbollah has fired a dozen of rockets from lebanon into northern israel calling it retaliation for the blank attacks last week. All right. The blank's military says its Iron Dome defense system intercepted some, but not all of the projectiles. In an overnight and early morning hours, Hezbollah pounded northern blank and the western Galilee with at least 30 rockets. See, this type of, of action is not seen in the cities of Babylon, but it's coming. Okay. It's coming. Also, you fucking Babylonians, you're going to be drafted, and your ass going to get shipped over there. All right? And the men here, they're not 
those people over there, they're, they're used to death, explosions, the war, right? None of that has, has been seen in the West, but, all right, according to the prophecy, it's coming. It's how it's going to come in the form of Egyptian against Egyptian. Uh, civil war, uh, sleeper cells that are here, things of that nature, man. Yahweh Bashem El Shai is about to unleash it all, okay? It's going to result in Yahweh sending Yahweh Shai back to free the Israelites, starting with the elect men, okay? And then we're going to rule on the earth as kings and priests, all right? The ones of our people who do not survive this, they will be reborn in the kingdom. They're going to be okay, okay? In the midst of that, the Russians is not going to rule, man. They're, they're just being used as a, as a tool to bring the destruction on the West because they possess nuclear capability. All right, and, uh, excuse me for writing. Um, in the overnight and early morning hours, Hezbollah pounded northern Israel and western Galilee with at least 30 rockets, while Blank's military says intercepted some of the rockets. It's clear from widely circulating video videos, though unverified, that many of them got through their sophisticated air system, with, right, which Yahweh, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, and I'm talking about the nukes here. The Most High is going to give these nations nukes, and the spirit of Yahweh Bashem El Shai is going to be on these nukes to hit their targets. Okay, and this is a, 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 a small example of that right now. You got rockets getting through. It's, it's only going to get worse and worse. It's just, it's only up from here. In a joint statement released Monday, they endorsed the latest push by the U.S., Qatar, and Egypt to broker an agreement to end the 10-month-old uh, Middle East war. I'll call it that. The mediators have spent months trying to get the sides to agree to a three-phase phase plan in which they both would release remaining hostages captured in the attack in exchange for the release of uh, Palestinians, as well as there would the blanks would draw from Gaza. <laughs> okay, so they over there, you know, uh, slaughtering each, each other, man. Okay, but this is according to Yahweh Bashem El Shago. And something else to also note, you know, it's a quote from uh, Mr. Pike, right? It says, a third world war will occur between the political Zionists and the leaders of the Islamic world. And another thing that this is doing is uniting the Islamic world. Let's get that in the GNT. And also, let's get that in the KJV. Did Second Edges 15 and uh, 28. Behold, in horrible vision, and the appearance thereof from the east, all right, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots. And how's that be? Well, the Most High is uh, Revelation 16, all right. The Most High is, is drying up the way of the kings over there, man, Euphrates. Revelation 16 and verse 13. All right, the sixth vow. All right, which is uh, is what preparation for this third world war. And the sixth angel poured out his vow on the great river Euphrates, and the water there was dried up. Because, you know, that's been happening, man.
The, river, the Euphrates River is at risk of drying up due to climate change in northeastern Syria. <laughs> Temperatures have increased by 1 degree Celsius in the last 100 years, and average rainfall has decreased by 18 millimeters per month each century. The Iraqi Ministry of Water Resources has warned that the river could be dry by 2040, which is just not going to take that long. Okay. Discover Magazine. Is the Euphrates River drying up? for time's sake. If you just look right here, it says, is the Euphrates River drying up? Yes, the Euphrates River is drying up due to a complex set of factors. Okay, this is prophecy, man. Revelation 16 and 12. <clears throat> and the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water that was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And the, the kings of, <clears throat> of the east are these different nations that is talking about here. Second is 15 and 29. It says, I'm going to start at 28. Behold, in horrible vision and the appearance thereof from the east, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots, and a multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. So it's going to be a very great. Uh, military man, a very great company of troops army, that's why it's called Armageddon Hamagawan, mountain of troops okay, because Ezekiel 38 gives you a list of nations alright, which is going to make up a very great military, a very great number of troops okay 30, also the Carmenians who are the Persians alright, modern day Iranians alright, so you have Ishmael in there, you have Elam you have Persia alright and uh, uh, Asher, various other nations over there, man, linking up. Okay. Also, the Carmanians raging in wrath shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. And with great power shall they come and join battle with them and shall waste a portion of the land. And shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. Okay. And then shall the dragons have the upper hand, remember their nature. And if they shall turn themselves, conspiring them together, and great power to persecute them. Okay, let's see how that reads in the TNT. Just curious. So there will be war, man. All right, war is coming. All right, and these different nations over there in the Middle East, they're going to unite. And a big part of that is the Euphrates River is drying up. That's how they're going to be able to meet up. <laughs> All right, against uh, the Holy Land and its ally with the West. Gog and Magog is, is going to get involved. All right, we're living in some very, very exciting times. So I'll go back to Joel 3 and uh, finish it off. This is Joel 3 and uh, 11. Assemble yourselves and... Actually, let me finish off 10. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. And these nations, you know, compared to the West, are weak. You know, they don't have the nuclear capability. They don't have the connection. They don't have the vassal states. All right. In order in, in order to uh, move their tongue against this place. But now things have changed. Alliances are being formed. These nations are up in there. They're, 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 um, they are... Uh, their arsenal, you know. Verse 11, assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about that the cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh Shemel Shai. And this is the doing of the Lord. All right, because the Lord did say in Zephaniah that he is determined to gather these nations, man. All right, when you read 2nd Acts 13, in the midst of these nations fighting each other, they're going to turn and try to fight the Lord and get fucking slaughtered, man. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together around the boss. Let the cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh Shemel Shai. Let the heathen be wakened, meaning roused up and cited for violence. Okay. 
the spirit of war is going to take over these people, man. And come up to the valley of Yahweh Shippah, for there I will sit to judge all the heathen round about. Okay? In the midst of that, that's when the Lord is going to execute judgment. He's going to send Yahweh Shai to destroy them and deliver it to life. Okay? Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come down, come get ye down, for the press is full, the fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of Yahweh Shemel Shai is near in the valley of decision. So with that, I'm going to end it. I pray this has been uh, edifying. I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh Shemel Shai. Shalom to the hopeful elect.